Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm going to give you my unboxing and review of the Nintendo 3DS Ultimate Starter Kit. Now, I was actually in the market for a case, and I came across this kit here, and I thought it'd be pretty cool to kind of take a look at it. Now, the kit is actually made by Rocketfish Gaming, which is an in-house brand of Best Buy, but it's still officially licensed by Nintendo, as you can see here with Nintendo's official seal. So, um, we're just going to do a quick unboxing, and then we're going to try out a few of the products here. As you can see here, it kind of shows you what's inside of it on the back and you do get the choice of either getting it in black or it is a red version available as well too. So I'll just start off here unboxing it. Just like that. Slide it on just like that. Alright, pretty cool. Okay, let's see what we have here. This case here, this looks look like this is the travel case. Except for here. Alright, so that's the case here. Looks like we got rubber bands to Keep it in place. Uh, oh, got some uh, cartridge holders right there too. Made of sort, sort of the same similar um, material that you normally get inside these type of cases. They're pretty much all kind of the same. Has a nice sort of auto shell there and uh, Nintendo 3DS logo right here. All right, let's take a look here. Let's let me get a pair of headphones. That's pretty cool. Pop those out here. We'll definitely test these out. See how well these work. And it's got the uh, Nintendo 3DS logo and. Uh, where Nintendo 3DS right on them there too. Looks like it's a pretty decent cable, the cable length. All right, we'll definitely put that to the test. And looks like we got a car charger here with the uh, DS charging uh, charging plug right there, and the car charger here. Pop that out. All right, pretty cool. It's actually pretty pretty small car charger there. It's pretty nice, nice and portable. Right. Have so we have here. So pop the shot and have to push it up. There we go. It's like we have two extra styluses here. You have one in red and one in black. And you can pop them out. And they're retractable too. Cool. All right. And we have a lower screen guard for your lower screen here. So you can put a screen protector on the bottom screen of the 3DS. And this is what we have here. Oh, cool. Well, Nintendo 3D, 3DS. Uh, oh. Cartridge holder. So it looks like you can store, um, I think it says on here, up to 22 games in this and two SD cards. SD cards right there. Made of plastic. Seems pretty sturdy. It looks like it'll protect your games pretty well. Alright, so what we're going to do here is going to put some of these products to the test and give you, give you our feedback. Okay, let's take a review of the accessories that come with the Nintendo 3DS Ultimate Starter Kit. We'll first start off with the screen guard here, which didn't work out too well. Considering they didn't include the card that normally these screen guards get so you can lay it on smoothly without having air bubbles in it. I know you can get like a business card or something and do the same thing. But it's disappointing that it wasn't included inside the kit. I have it on here. And you can see there's bubbles and stuff on it. But if, obviously if I got a, like a business card or something like that, I can layer it out so that there wouldn't be no air bubbles. But it doesn't come with the kit, so that's kind of disappointing there. I'm not a big fan of screen guards anyway, so I'm probably going to take that off anyways. Alright, next thing we'll check out here is the styluses. This is the original DLS DS stylus here. You can see there. And this is the the one that comes in the kit and it slides out, but it slides out sort of a kind of feels a little jagged when it slides out. It doesn't slide out as smoothly. You have a, a white end here and this is a black end. The original has a black end. This has a white end tip here, as you can see. But it does um lock into the back of the DS in the same stylus port. It doesn't rattle around or fall out at all pops out just as easily. So the styluses do work well. And as far as the headphones, which are concerned, which are here, headphones were okay, but they do sound a little bit low. And that's because they're here safe headphones, so there's some, uh, some built-in technology to it so that it doesn't get that very loud. It's obviously for kids and stuff like that. So you might might want to use a different pair of headphones if you uh if you're um, really want that loud, uh, loud and really boisterous sound, this doesn't really have that. These are really just kind of get the audio to you. It does sound clear, but like I said, it's gonna sound low to you. And for kids, it, this is probably good for them since you don't want to blow, you know, blow the eardrums or anything out like that. All right, the uh, car adapter worked as a, as a car car adapter should. I tested it out, plugged in, worked fine. Was able to keep my gaming on while on the road. Right. This is the game case here. Pop it open. As you can see, you can hold uh, your 3DS games, your DS games, and an SD card, and it holds in there well. You have um, two sides to each one of these little panels here. You have a back side to it as well to include more games. Just 
slide that, pop that, just like that there. And it stays in there, doesn't rattle around too much. Pretty solid, definitely, definitely is gonna protect your stuff. And finally, we'll test out the case here, which we did, and it, it carried around very well. I liked it, it, it it'll fit inside your bag or, you know, in your backpack anywhere, and it should, should keep your stuff calm, protected. You can fit up to three, three DS games and DS games here. You can see I have them put put in there, and they do fit really tightly. So you slide them right in, and they will stay put because it's a very tight squeeze in there. And for the case of the straps and just like that stays in there. There you go. Do a little drop there. Don't want to drop it too far. And it's not too heavy. It um, definitely has a little bit of weight to it because the 3DS is in there. But the casing definitely feels good and feels like it can take it can take a hit if you drop it by accident or if you have it in your bag and you smush it between some books or something like that. It'll definitely keep it protected. So overall, the uh, 3DS kit is a pretty decent kit. It is it's not too expensive. I think it's around the 20 to 25 dollar range. I'm not exactly sure. Um, that don't exactly remember remember right now, but the um, the price range will be in the exact price will be in the description of this video along with the write up. So definitely check that out. I have to give it a thumbs up. I would say the only two two small issues I would say would be that the screen guard is not great, but I wasn't expecting it to be. And the headphones a little bit low, but something else that I don't expect it to be too great. If, if if you're getting this for a kid, it might be great for them, but for an adult, you might want to use a different pair of headphones if you really want that loud, really booming sound out of it while you're playing your games. Styluses work good, the case works well, everything else does exactly what it's supposed to do. So definitely give it a thumbs up. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you to subscribe to our YouTube page here, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, all the links are in the description below along with the link to the right up here. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.